Hello and welcome. We are really glad you joined us here. This tutorial will help you understand getting a project started and loading drawings in SiteWorks OS version 8. The Project tab is the starting point. The project information recorded here will be included on the various reports. If boring logs are available and you're seeking cut volumes by soil type, the boring data will be set up here. Because we cover boring logs in a separate tutorial, we won't use them here nor discuss them. Next, the Drawings tab is where the drawing files are opened and linked to the project. SiteWorks OS works with many raster and vector file formats. First, a few comments about file types. Raster files. Raster images are files such as TIFF, JPEG, BMP, and some PDF. A raster file displays the graphic as a grid of small rectangular pixels or points of color. The drawing is built up from these tiny pixel cells. When performing a takeoff from raster files, the user clicks with the mouse on the desired pixels. Vector files. Vector files are CAD files such as AutoCAD DWG files, DWF, DXF, and some PDF files that were created from the vector file. A vector file uses geometric objects such as points, lines, curves, and polygons that are based on mathematical expressions. These geometric objects are often organized in layers in a vector file. These vector layers can be isolated and all irrelevant information can be hidden with SiteWorks OS. Contour lines and point elevations from some vector files can be quickly and accurately imported into SiteWorks OS. If not imported, contour lines recorded as a polyline can be taken off with a single mouse click from vector files. PDF files. PDF files are listed as both raster and vector. Some PDF files have layers and are vector files. Others without layers are considered raster. PDF files that contain layers, which are created from the CAD file, are known as vector PDF files. Other PDF files that do not contain layers are known as raster PDF files. These PDF files operate like any other raster file. Layers from vector PDF files can be isolated with SiteWorks OS. Contour lines from vector PDF files are taken off with a single mouse click with SiteWorks OS. Summary. SiteWorks OS works with most PDF vector and raster files. CAD vector files are often the best since the point and contour line elevation data can be imported. Vector PDF files are next best since layers can be isolated and contour lines can be taken off with a single click. As a general rule, working with vector files tends to be more efficient and accurate than raster files. So we recommend that you try to obtain the vector file, if possible. This tutorial uses a multi-page vector PDF file. To open the file, click on Open on the left side of the toolbar and browse to the desired file. Ensure the Show Preview tool is depressed to display a preview of the drawing file. Here, the first page of a multi-page vector PDF file is displayed. Page 1 of the PDF file gives the proposed elevations. Page 2 includes the existing elevations. To select a different page, scroll through the page numbers or enter the desired page. After opening the first drawing, set the scale. Click on Scale and then calibrate the scale by clicking on the Auto Scale yellow ruler. SiteWorks OS works with English and metric scales. The scale is set once on the first drawing opened. Please note that for English scales, 
The scale factor is the reciprocal of the scale times 12. For example, a true one-tenth scale will result in a factor of 120. File information is shown on the bottom right side of the status bar. This file is a vector PDF file that has layers. Remember, the features available when performing the takeoff will depend on the file type. This tutorial uses a multi-page vector PDF file where the second page contains the existing contour lines. So, you must open the second page. You can open the second page in two ways. First, click on Open and select the desired page number. Or, right-click the mouse and select Duplicate Drawing. After duplicating the drawing, move to the toolbar and change to the desired page. The list of drawings available are found in the Active Drawing list in the top left corner of the Drawings tab toolbar ribbon. Since this project is using multiple files or pages, the initial file or page must be aligned with the other pages. To align, click the Align Drawing button on the toolbar. Click on two points found on each drawing. In this example, the alignment points are clearly noted. In other files, the alignment points may be corners of the slab, parking lot, or project boundary. The two alignment points must be identified for all of the other pages or files opened. Now that you know about opening a file, setting the scale, and aligning the files, the next step is performing the takeoff at the Takeoff tab, and we'll show you that in another tutorial. Thanks for joining us for this tutorial about getting a project started and loading drawings in SiteWorks OS version 8. And of course, please contact us if you need further help. We're eager to be of assistance to you.